Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now just to give him the thanks, always give him the praise, and always give him the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I want to say this. Thank you for this awesome day that you were given every last one of us today, God. That we are so thankful today just to seek you in your kingdom today. And thank you, Father God, for allowing us to have a seat at your table today. That is such a blessing today, my Father God. Because when we have a seat at your table, God, we, we are bringing our faith at the table. We are bringing our trust at the table. And we are bringing our hope at the table. And it's such a blessing today, my brothers my sisters, just to be in your homes right now today. Just to share another word and another anointing message that's coming from my heavenly Father God. I believe that God will speak to somebody through this, through this message today. Because right now, a lot of people is not right for you, my brothers. A lot of people is not right for you, my sister. Some of you right now, you thinking that person is your closest friend. You think that's your closest in-law. You think that's your closest family member. It could be a, a so-called husband, a so-called wife, or a boyfriend, or girlfriend. Everybody's not right for you. So right now, God is telling me today he's got to change some things up. He's going to switch directions on you right now because he wants you to sit on his right-hand side until every last one of your enemies will be up under your feet. I don't know who God is about to talk to today, but I believe that this word, I believe that this anointing message today is going to help somebody, it's going to uplift somebody, it's going to, it's going to feed somebody that you're going to be hungry on this word. It's going to satisfy your, your soul, it's going to satisfy your flesh, it's going to satisfy your spirit for the rest of the week, my brothers and my sisters. I don't know who it is, but God told me to get ready. This word is for you. They are not right for you. And you're going to know why they are not right for you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out. Just want to say a quick prayer right now before we get into today's service. Amen? Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, we want to say this thank you for this beautiful, blessed day today. We want to say thank you for this anointed word. Thank you for this anointed message, God. Thank you right now, Heavenly Father God, for touching every last one of us right now today, God. Thank you for allowing us to have a seat at your table right now today, God. Just thank you, Father God, how you touching us right now today, how you providing, how you healing us right now today, God. Father God, we thank you for this word and how this word is about to lift us up, Father God, how this word is about to enrich us right now. We thank you, Father God, for you continue to have your way with us, God. Thank you for having a hold on us, God. Father God, we come to agreement right now today, knowing that your words, knowing that your promises, God, it, it sticks to us, God. Father God, we come to you right now today seeking your face and not your hands, God. And Father God, the more that we seek your hands, God, we seek your face, God, we know that your light and we know that your, your prosperity will shine through us, God. Father God, we just want to say this thank you for every chance and every opportunity, God, that we have just to come before you, just to say thank you, just to say that we love you, to always say that we trust you, God. Father God, continue to to guide us, continue to direct us, God. I want to say thank you, Father God, for helping my brothers and my sisters, even myself, God. Father God, even though even though we might fall sometimes, God, but you right there, you lifting us up. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your protection. Just thank you for everything, God, because when we call in your name, you are right there at all given time to listen to us, God. And we thank you for this anointing word right now, God. We thank you for the angels that are surrounding us right now. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Father God, we want to say we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to come together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And we thank you for everything that you've done. We thank you for everything you're doing, God. Father God, we don't have to see the blessing to thank you. We don't have to see the breakthrough to thank you. We don't even have to see the miracle to thank you, God. But we know that you already done it. So we thank you in advance, God. We are praising you in advance, God. We are worshiping your holy name in advance, God. Because we know that you have already done it. We know that you already fixed it. And we know that you're about to show up and show on our life, God, because we know that you can do it. We know that's not too hard for you. We know that's not too difficult for you, God. And, Father God, we believe on your words. We believe in your promises, God, because, God, you the vine and we are the branches. As long as we abide in you, you abide in us, we abide in your words, and your words abide in us. We say that we can ask anything in your name. And you say that you'll do it, God. I believe right now today you know what my brothers has asked you for. I believe right now today you know exactly what my sisters has asked you for. And I believe right now today you know exactly what I asked you for, God. And I know for a fact that you already done it. So, Father God, we claim it in advance. We thank you in advance. And we know that you are manifesting it right now in advance. So, Father God, we want to say that we thank you. 
And we give you all the thanks. We give you all the praise. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, God. You are everything, God. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just came. Thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day. I came. Thank you enough for this word. I came. Thank you enough for this anointing message. I just came. Thank you enough, God, for the air that we're able to breathe right now. I just came. Thank you enough, Father God, for the food that you have blessed and prepared to put on our table, the clothes and shoes that you have put on our back. I just came. Thank you enough, God, for your words. I just came. Thank you enough, Jesus, for your promises. I just came. Thank you enough, Jesus, for this anointing, this deliverance. I just came thinking of Jesus how you providing. I just came thinking of Jesus how you making a way out of no way. I just came thinking of Jesus for your grace and, the, and your mercy. I just came thinking of Jesus for the clothes and shoes that you had put on our back. I just came thinking of Jesus how you guiding, how you directing us. I just came thinking of Jesus because your answers is always yes and amen. I just came thinking of for our blessing right now, our breakthrough right now, our deliverance right now, our double portion right now, our more than enough right now. I just came thinking of Jesus for the rain that is coming our way this year right now. I just came thinking for the help. I just came thinking for the angels that is joining us in praise and worship right now. I just came thinking of Father God how the Holy Spirit is moving through us right now. I just came thinking of Father God because your light is shining through us right now. I just came thinking of God for who you are and what you have done and what you are doing. I just came thinking of Jesus because we can't do it without you, Jesus. We can't make without you, Jesus. We can't think without you, Jesus. We can't comprehend without you, Jesus. Father God, we need you each and every day in our life, God. I just came thinking for the open doors. I came thinking for the door that you have closed. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I exalt your holy name for who you are, for who you is, God, for what you stand for, God. I just can't thank you enough. 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 I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. Glory and hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you please turn your Bibles to Psalms 110 and we're going to read verse 1. That's Psalms 110. And we're going to read verse 1. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. I like how David broke it down when he said your enemies. So right now, God is telling me to tell somebody that you have more than one enemy. A lot of people right now today that you are kicking it with, that you are hanging with right now today, my brothers, my sisters, they are not right for you. Anybody can hang with you. Anybody can say they're loyal to you. Anybody can say that you're friend. Anybody can say they're your brothers. Anybody can say they're your sisters. Anybody can say they're in love with you when things are going good in your life, when you are making them happy. When you, you know what I'm saying, when, when everything is, is, is going your way. But the moment that you fall off, the moment when you don't have anything for them no more, guarantee you the same people who said they were your brothers, the same people who said they were your sisters, the same people who said they was in love with you, the same people who said they kept a real with you, they're going to turn left for you. They're going to switch sides on you. They are like they ain't going to know you no more. Anybody can kick with you, you know what I'm saying, when you got it going on. That's the easy part. But can they still kick it with you when you don't have nothing? Can they still be your friend? Can they still be loyal to you when you're down and out, when you don't have anything to give you? No, they cannot. So that's why God say a lot of people that you are hanging with right now today, they are not right for you. 
Right now, God is telling me to tell somebody right now today that he got to switch it up a little bit, that he got to change your direction right now because you've been hanging with, you've been kicking with the wrong people in your life. Yeah, my sister, that man can say he love you all day long, as long as you got something good. But the moment that you don't have anything to offer him no more, watch he change up on you. Watch he move straight to the left. And right now, that's what exactly what some of them doing right now to you today, my sisters. They changed it up on you. They move straight to the left. And the same thing happened to you today, my brothers. Any woman can love you. Any woman can say they love with you until you fall off, until you can't support her knees anymore, until you can't take her to the mall no more, and when you can't when you can't get her head done no more, and when you can't put money in her pocket no more, what's she going to do? She's going to change up on you. She's going to move to the left. That's what David said. God says, sit on my right hand because God is the only one who's not going to change up on you. God's going to be the only one that's going to be faithful to you. God's going to be the only one that's going to be loyal to you. God's going to be the only one who's going to keep you with you when you have something and when you don't have nothing. God says, sit right here. He says, sit right here on my right hand side until I make your enemies, your enemies, a footstool. That's what he said. For your feet. God said he's going to give your enemies ready. The same ones who did you wrong. Going to be the same ones at your table. Long that you are, long that you continue to show up. And say God I'm available to have a seat at your table. God is going to prepare. A, a, God is going to prepare a table. For every last one of your enemies. That's why you can't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Because the people that was left that done you wrong, they're going to change up on you. I have seen it so many times, my brothers and my sisters. And right now, somebody right now, they is heartbroken because you thought that person that you was kicking with, you thought they was very loyal to you. You thought that person was your brother, not didn't you? You thought that person was your sister, not didn't you? You thought you was in love with that guy, not didn't you? You thought that you was in love with that woman, not didn't you? You thought your family, you thought your family member would have never changed up on you. You thought that your in-laws would never change up on you. But God said everybody's not real, everybody's not right, and everybody's not loyal to you. You got to start asking God, God, is this the right person that you sent my way? If you're not asking God that, Right now, I promise you, right now today, my brothers and my sisters, a lot of people that you are kicking in right now today, they ain't right for you. I'm going to tell you that right now, I have seen it so many times in my life right now. I went through it. And as I went through it, I told myself, I said, never again. Never again. Because when you got it, everybody your friend. Everybody want to hang with you. Everybody your homeboy, everybody your homegirl, everybody want to come hang with you. They want to chill with you. They want to party with you. They want to do everything. But the moment that you fall off, the moment that you can't get them, not, the moment that you can't please them anymore, they're going to change up on you. That's what God is so, he is so direct in this text right here. He said, now nah, I got to change it up because the left hand already know who you are. The left hand already know what you what what you what, what you're about. But God said, if you sit right here on my right hand side, because I'm your right hand man, I'm gonna be faithful to you. I'm gonna be loyal to you. I seen how many people walked out of your life. I seen how many people done you wrong. I seen how many people went left on you when you lost that job. I seen how many people went left on you when you didn't have money no more. I seen how many people went left when you didn't have anything to give them anymore. I seen how they went left. But God said, I'm still right here. I'm still going to be faithful to you. I'm still going to rock with you. I'm still going to kick it with you. I'm still going to cheer with you. But I need you to sit right here because I ain't finished yet because you don't realize that you have a lot of enemies right now. And God said when he prepared that table for your enemies, you're going to see every last enemy that walked out of your life. You're going to see every last enemy was talking about you. You're going to see every last enemy that was spreading rumors about you, my brother, my sister. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who this word from right now today. I don't know who God is trying to get to open their eyes and see. He said, everybody is not right for you. He said that you got to start examining and checking your circle. Right now, somebody need to ask God, God, is is this person right here right for me? Is this the right friend? Is this the right woman? Is this the right man? Some of you right now today, you have you have thought that was the right husband. But you went on flesh. You went on material, materialistic things. That's what you went on. In the moment that you didn't have it, 
to please and satisfy him for his material things, what did he do? He moved straight to the left on you, now didn't he? God already said he wasn't right for you in the first place. You couldn't see the signs. God was already giving you warnings, but you was too blind to look at it, my sisters. When God is giving you warnings and God is giving you signs, God is telling you right then and there, that person ain't right for you. And sometimes a lot of you think, uh, sometimes a lot of you think that God is speaking. God can speak to other people and tell you, my sister, this guy right here ain't no good. This guy right here is not right for you. But, you, but some of y'all sisters right now, you're so caught up on that flesh. And flesh does not stick to anything. You so caught up on material things. You so caught up on the lies. You so caught up what he can do and say, okay, I know he got to be the one. I'm not listening to them. But the moment you fall off, the moment that you can't provide, the moment that you can't do this, you can't do that, you know what he did to you. He switched up on you. He moved to the left. The same thing to you, my brothers. I know that you had a friend to tell you. And I know that your mother told you, son, this girl is not right for you. This girl, is she going to change on you? She's going to do you wrong. And right now, a lot of you right now, they probably say, Mom, you don't know what you're talking about. This is my love right here. This is my wife right here. I know she got my back. But the moment when you go, when the moment that you're going through some things, the moment when you can't, when you can't step and be the man that you, you, that you want to be, what's she going to do? She's going to move to the left and go to the, to the next man. And the only thing you can say, my mother told me that. The only thing that you can say, my friends told me that. I should have been more careful. Now you're sitting at home heartbroken. Now you're sitting at home crying. Now you're sitting at home devastated. Talking about what did I do? What did you do? You didn't ask God. You went on the flesh too. You went on material things too. Flesh does not stick to anything. They was not right for you from the get-go. And I know that you had to see the sign. Because I tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, I went through the same thing. Before my mother passed, my mother told me about this girl when I was dating, before I got married. I mean, I knew who my mother was. My mother was a God-fearing woman. She was a Christian woman. She also was a minister, too. I remember the first day I brought this young lady to my mother's house. My mother looked at her. She looked at me. She said, son, I'm going to tell you one thing. This girl right here, she's going to do you wrong. She ain't the one. I said, Ma, you got to be tripping. Yes, she is, Ma. Ma, we're going to have a family. We're going to have marriage. My mother said, son, I know how you are. I know you want people in your business. But I'm going to tell you right now, this girl right here, she's going to do you wrong. She's going to switch sides on you. And I guarantee you everything from my mother passed. Eight years after that, everything that my mother told me about her, it was true. Everything. I mean, from A all the way to Z, she was on point. It's like, it's like she knew all the map was going to happen. But I was too hard hit. I didn't listen. She wasn't right for me. She even switched up on me. Even the so-called friends used to come to my house and hang with me. Who's to watch the, the football games with me? Who's to watch the, 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 boxing, the boxing match with me? They switched up too when they ain't had nothing to give them no more. When they ain't had information no more, when they ain't had the alcohol or the marijuana to feed them no more, they switched up on me. They started talking bad about me, uh, spreading rumors about me. They ain't want to be my friend. They ain't want to ask my phone calls no more. So I'm telling you what I'm talking about. They ain't right for you. And some of you right now today, you're going through the same exact things what God is saying right now in this text. And what God told me, he said, son, sit at my right hand side. I promise you, I will make your enemies your footstool. And I thought God was tripping when he said that. I said, God, there ain't no way in the world that, that you're going to make my enemies a, a footstool. Then God spoke to another co-worker of mine. And my co-worker, he put him to the side that morning. He said, LT, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this right now. He said, I ain't telling you that's going to happen today. I ain't telling you it's going to happen tomorrow. I know right now that you're going through some things because you was looking out for somebody. You was you was there when they needed you. Everybody was rocking with you when you had it. Everybody wanted to be your friend. Everybody was, your, was at your house. I ain't saying it's going to happen today. I ain't saying it's going to happen tomorrow. But my brother Ron said, LT said, when it happened, you're going to feel sorry for him. So that was the second confirmation that God was already telling me for me to sit at his right hand side. That was the second confirmation that God was telling me that the people who did that to me wasn't right from the get go. So I said, okay, God, I'm going to take you up on that offer. I said, okay, God, I'm going to trust you. This is about 12, 13 years ago. 
I said, okay, God, I'm going to sit right here on your right hand side. And God said, sit right here and watch me go to work for you. God said, sit right here and watch me fight your battles. God said, sit right here and you're going to see, I'm going to turn this mother out. And I guarantee you, my brothers, my sisters, you can mark my word for it. It was less than a week. God turned it out. Everyone who walked out of my life, everyone who did me wrong, they became my enemies and God made them a footstool right there at my feet. And I say, wow, look at that right there. God had to change my direction. God said, you can't keep with them no more because they are foul. God said, you can't keep them. With no, you can't keep with them no more because they never was loyal to you. God said, you can't keep with them no more because they was never real from the get-go. God said, you cannot keep them with them anymore. He said, all that you can do is say, hey, goodbye, and keep it moving. When God changed my direction, I knew who my enemy was since then. Right now, the point I'm making, God is telling me to tell somebody right now today, he's about to change your direction because the people that you was kicking with is not loyal to you. The people that you was hanging with was never your friends. The people who you thought was loyal to you never had your back. They never had your best interest. So God is about to change some things up. God is about to shift some things. God is about to lead you to the right side and let your haters stay on the left side. Let your doubters stay on the left side. Let your naysayers stay on the left side because God said he's about to make your enemies your footstools up under your foot. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who this world for right now today. But God said they was never right from you from the get-go. They was never your friends. They was never loyal. They never had your best interest. They were smiling your face and the whole time they were stabbing you in the back. The whole time they were wanting to be you. That's all what it was. They were jealous of you. They knew who you was. They knew who you was from the get-go. They were taking advantage of you, my brothers. They was taking advantage of you, my sisters. That's why they moved to the left so quick. Because anybody that was real, anybody that they cared for you, anybody that was rocking with you, they're going to rock with you during the good times, and they're going to rock with you during the bad times. If anybody can rock with somebody the good times, you should be able to rock them with the bad times. If you can't rock with me through the bad times, you ain't right for me. If you can't rock with me when I'm struggling, you can't rock with me. If you can't hang with me while I'm while I'm going through this pain, when I'm suffering, and while I'm struggling, when I'm going through when I'm going through these trials and tribulations, you ain't right for me. That's what God is telling you because God said when the table get prepared, I guarantee you the same ones who went to the left gonna be the same ones gonna want to come back. But God said no, nah, I gotta change you up. God said you're on another direction. You ain't got time to keep with them no more because they showed you from the get go they was not loyal to you. God said they showed you from the get-go they didn't have your best interest. God showed you that they didn't love you. God showed you they didn't support you. God showed you they didn't never love you. They never want to be your husband. They ain't never want to be your wife. They ain't never want to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. They never want to be your fiance. They never want anything from you. They were trying to take advantage of you. They were trying to take advantage of your kindness. They're trying to take advantage of your love. They're trying to take advantage of your faith. That's all what it was. And God said, I'm giving you another chance right now. I'm giving you a warning right now. The people that you are kicking in right now, the people that you have in your house right now, the people that you are socialized with at work right now, he said, they ain't right for you. They rolling up on the bus. They snitching on you. They wait for you to fall. They wait for, you to, they wait for things to go bad so they can talk about you, so they can spread rumors about you. God said, they ain't right. I don't know who God's giving the warning to right now today, but somebody, somebody somewhere, you need to listen to somebody. I don't know if it's God t telling you right now. I don't know if it's your mom telling you right now. I don't know if it's your father telling you right now. I don't know if it's, is a, is it a, a lawyer friend is telling you right now. Somebody's telling you, you better watch your back because they're not right for you. The moment that you fall off, they're going to take a left. The moment that you don't have information to feed them, the moment that you can't do for them anymore, they're going to they're gonna go left on you. They're going to flip on you. They're going to change sides on you. Anybody can kick with you when a good time. Yeah, we party, we having fun. But when you can't party no more, I guarantee you the same people that was partying with you, they was kicking with you during the good times, you ain't going to see them no more. You might can't see it right now because right now you're all happy right now. You all smile. But the Bible tells us in the book of Job, it's going to be good times and it's going to be bad times. And I guarantee you, some of you right now today, you can't even count on fingers who was rocking with you, who was kicking with you right now today while you're doing bad. Why are you struggling? Why are you suffering? 
Why are you going through these trials and tribulations? Why are you going through these hard times? And I guarantee you, the only person that got my, got my back, been kicking with me, is my brothers and sisters that's been supporting the, that's been supporting this ministry, and my wife and God. That's who's been kicking it with me. That's who's been real with me from the get go. Yes, even though I'm suffering right now. Even though I'm struggling right now, even though I'm going through this hardship right now, even though I'm going through trials and tribulations, I know who's been kicking it with me. I know who had my best interest. I know who's been rocking with me. And the same who's been rocking with me when I was down, going to be the same people who's going to be rocking with me when I get back up. Because I believe, I declare, I decree right now today that God is changing some things up, that he's shifting some things in our life right now. Our blessings on the way, our breakthroughs on the way, our miracles on the way. Because God said, it's your time to get back up. Now, the people that went left on you, let them continue to go left. They cannot hang on the right side of the tracks anymore because God said, I will prepare a table for every last one of your enemies and I will make your enemies a foot at your footstool. Get ready. You're going to have a lot of enemies that's going to be at the end and at the bottom of your foot because they doubted you, they played you, and they and they ridiculed you. They, 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 they done you wrong. They done you dirty. I know what you're going through right now today, my brothers. I know exactly what you're going to do, my sisters. I've been there. I've been there. Thank you, people, was my friend. Thank you, people, that was loyal to me. Thank you, people, that had my best interest. Thank you, the woman was really, my, was, was, was really the love of my life. The whole time my mother told me she wasn't no good, but I didn't listen. I was, I was being too hard here. I thought I knew everything until the light bulb went off. And God said, didn't your mother tell you that girl wasn't no good? Did she tell you? I said, Father God, she told me. I mean, everything my mother told me about her, it was true. It was nothing false. It's like my mother was living inside of her. She said, she told me how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and how it's going to go down. But I brushed my mom to the side and said, Mom, you don't know what you're talking about. But my mother, she knew exactly what she was talking about. She said, son, everybody your friends. My parents always told me, she says, my parents always told me, say, son, you don't know who your real friends is when you're down and out. When you're struggling, when you're suffering, when you're having the hard times, when things not going your way, my mother always told me, and my father, say the ones who's rocking with you when you're going through the bad times, them are called loyal friends. And my parents always told me, say, son, everybody's not loyal. Everybody's not going to rock with you. But my parents always told me, they say, son, if you don't have nobody else, you're always going to have us. But the one person who's going to always rock with you. The only, one person always going to kick with you. The one person always going to keep it real with you during your suffering time, during your struggling time, during your pain, during your hardship, during your trials and tribulation. I say, who, Ma? Who, Dad? They say, Jesus. You can always count on him. That's why he says, sit on my right hand because God want to do everything on his right hand. You are connected to God on the right hand side. The right hand side is the strong side. And when you're sitting on the strong, on the strong side of God, God said, I got you because I'm connected to you and you're connected to me. I will not let you down. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never walk out of your life. I will never betray you. I will never do you dirty. I will never go left on you. I'm always going to be right here. But so many of us right now today, we always go left on Jesus. The only person who got our back, the only person who kicked with us, the only person that rock with us, the only person that understand us, the only person that we can call in the midnight hour, any time of the day, any time of the hour, we can call on Jesus. He's still right there. But the moment that we get some, we kick him to the left. Why do we continue to do that, my brothers, my sisters? When he's the only one who's going to be loyal to us. He tells in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, that we need to cast everything to him because he cares. For somebody that cares for us like that, that means he rock with us. That means he rock with us. That means he is for us. That means he got our back no matter what we are going through, no matter how, how, how unfaithful we are. Jesus said, I'm still going to rock with you. I still got your back. I still, oh, help me, God. He said, I'm the one that's for you. But most of the time, we always put we always put other people and other things in front of Jesus. Why are we continuing to do that when we know they're going to go left on us? When we know they're not right. When we know that they're not faithful. When we know that they're not loyal. Come on, my brothers and my sisters. Keep it real with me. You ain't telling me nothing. I don't bend to that. 
But once I got older and I got wiser and I knew better, I said the only person that's going to kick it with me, the only person that's going to be loyal to me and have my back is Jesus. Because I know my parents would, would never always going to be here. And right now my parents are not here anymore. But Jesus is still right here. Kicking with me. Rocking with me. Being faithful towards me. And being loyal. I don't have nobody else but him. I can always count on him. I can always depend on him. I can always rely on him. You can't always count and depend rely on everybody, my brothers and my sisters. Because everybody that you, everybody that you try to depend on, everyone that you try to count and rely on is not going to be loyal to you. They're not going to be faithful to you. Because the moment, the moment things go, the moment things go sour, because life will go sour. It's like a roller coaster now. It's like a roller coaster. One minute you up, the next minute you're going to go down. Anybody can be faithful and say they're your friends, your buddy, your homeboy, your homegirl. They're in love with you when everything's going up. But can they say the same thing when they go down? No. They can't do it. Jesus is telling me to tell somebody right now today. They, ain't, they are not right for you. Open up your eyes. Start paying attention. Start listening to what people are telling you. Right now, Jesus is telling me to tell somebody right now today through this service right now, through this text, they are not right for you. Ask God right now. You know who you are. Say, God, is this the right friend that you sent? God, is this the right husband? God, is this the right wife? God, is this the right job? Some of you right now today, you're changing jobs thinking it's the right job because it paid better. You don't realize eventually when you get there, you gonna be able to, you might not get along with the supervisors. You might not get along with the coworkers. Then they're going to go left for you. When you should have stayed at the job where God said, don't move yet. I've been there before too. Thinking, thinking I knew better. Changing up. And when I got to that job, it ain't last for three or four days. God said, if you just sit still right there, I was going to rock with you. I'm not going to leave you not like that. But no, nah, you thought you knew better than you ever too. You thought you knew more than me. See how that job went left on you? They were so excited to get you in the door. They told you all the good things, all the rewards, all the bonuses, everything that you're going to get. But soon you got there, look, they went left on you. They closed the door on you. They weren't rocking with you no more. Even the people that was at the job wasn't even rocking with you anymore. I said, God, you was right. I should have listened. I don't know who this word for today, but start paying attention. God told me to tell you right now today, they are not right for you. And if this word and if this message for you, I want you to give God the thanks right now, the praise and the glory. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today by us praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always continue to seek him. Always continue to thank him. Always continue to praise them and know for a fact they are not right for you. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.